Welcome to the introduction to the art of folding clothes. This is going to be lecture number one. So let's begin on why you should listen to this course. And that's because in this course we are aiming to provide you with insights and hacks on tidying and organizing clothes. In this course we will be learning two important points. Why clothes need to be folded and why some generic clothes folding techniques are flawed and some are not even effective for a particular type of clothes. So, if you're like me when I was young, you're wondering why I even bother folding clothes if I'm just gonna wear them the next day or so. Well, that's because more often than not, clothes are folded to be presented in a neat way, and basically to keep them organized. Also, folding clothes is a great way to keep your room tidy and neat, rather than just have the clothes scatter all over the house on the floor or in any furniture in your house. Maybe even on that one on juice treadmill you have. By folding clothes, we allow them to be stacked on top of each other, regardless the clothes type. This permits the possibility of having an indefinite quantity stacked on top of each other. But you need to know that there are some flaws too. For example, despite of the many advantages that folding clothes has, there are still some drawbacks on some folding techniques and the space involved. Some of those drawbacks include that it's hard to identify which clothes to pick and it's hard to take out a single piece of clothing out from a heavy stack or pile. In some of the next courses, you'll be learning different folding techniques and their flaws. Some of those examples are general square fold, conmary folding, and my own folding style. Even so, I will give you a basic explanation of each. So, a square fold is basically a fold that when it's done, the folded clothes resemble a square shape, like the one you see in the picture to the right. Conmary folding is a technique that was introduced by Mary Kondo who was a Japanese tidying guru. This method is used by folding the clothes really tight into a small and compact rectangular shape. And then we have my own folding style, which I call Kusi. This technique resembles a stubby holder. This unique method aims to restore what has been missing and the flaws in previous methods of folding and tidying. Let me just say that my folding method is only effective on flat, large clothes, like t-shirts, polos, short pants, trunks, and other tiny clothes such as socks, can still use Count Mary method due to the nature of its small size. 